you know, when you're out there in the country, your neighbors are pretty far away, but they all know the hole out there. They all know about it. So it's well, like because yeah, they all bring their trash out. There. So the local legend of of the hole. Yeah. In 1997, Mel Waters appeared on Coast to Coast Late Night Radio to explain a legend in Washington State now referred to as Mel's Hole. The one guy claims that he threw his uh, departed canine down into the hole. Oh, really? And uh, he swear. well, the story is the guy that did it swears the, the dog actually came back to him. And uh, he was a really? hunter. He was a hunter. The story is that he was a hunter. And he was out there hunting, hunting, and he saw the same dog. He had the same collar. He had the same little, uh, what is that, little metal thing on his collar there. And uh, he said it was the same dog. And he says he knew he threw the dog into the hole. But it's it's uh, a story of a resurrected dog. Yeah. What are we searching for when we? search for Mel Hull, Mel's hole. I think that's a question. In a metaphorical sense, in a deeper sense, we're not just looking maybe for a landscape feature, but we're looking for some mystery in the world. I suppose it's like a holy grail kind of thing. If you did find it, I guess, maybe there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Maybe there's demons that are going to assault you in your sleep at night. I don't know. I mean, Through a Reddit post of all places, we found coordinates that led us to a random farm. We thought the best thing to do was to get permission, but no one was home. Oh, sheep. sheep. Can you imagine what a terrible, boring world we would be if every inch were truly mapped and we knew everything and you could really just go to Google Earth and find absolutely everything? Uh, what a beautiful thing it is, in fact, that we are searching for the unknown. Hello? Like, I do wonder if it's government property, though, because if it's a mine shaft, like, can, can you just own mine shafts on your property? But the story goes that the government has an extreme interest in it and has something to do with extraterrestrials or UFO crafts. I think we need to go that way. It's crazy to think that people have been searching for Mel's Hole for two decades. Wait. What? It's... Yeah, I think I see you. Oh! I think it's right there. Oh. Watch your step, everybody. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> On every single side, you can't see the bottom. Anywhere you go, you can't see it. I do think that when we're searching for Mel's Hole, uh, many people, some people really literally want to find it. For other people, it's the thrill of searching with somebody else. We couldn't see the bottom, so we did the only thing we could. Throw rocks down, and hear what happens. There must be more in this world than science alone and technology can explain, than rationality can explain. So we, I think it's insufficient to call that irrationality or call it uh, mere superstition. Uh, we got GoPro, two lights, um, and then two strings that each person's going to hold. watching this with binoculars. Oh shit. What? We're being watched with binoculars. Shh, don't say really? that. Before we could check the footage, we had to leave as quickly as possible. We seem to stop looking over at them, you know. Uh, we were looking for whoever else. Yeah, I do. And this is private property. That's why it was all around. So you uh, basically trespassed oh. to get here. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, all right. We'll... we'll, we'll... Yeah, Usually the sheriff gets called when people come over. After our run-in with the neighbor, we got together to review our footage for the first time. Sigmund Freud uh, claimed that the origin, in fact, of all religious feeling and spiritual feeling was what he called the oceanic feeling, that sense of being at one with the universe, which takes us, he thought, all the way back to the womb. This idea of a deep tunnel that goes on infinitely, uh, going back, as it were, to the womb where we were all born uh, because the Earth is our mother, even though we don't often think of it that way. And we're always trying all our lives to find our way back. So whether or not you buy that exactly, it's an interesting idea and there may be something to that. This portal, this doorway to another uh, nature of existence, whether or not it's a stargate or a wormhole or something, uh, it is such a deep longing 
that we have to go in somewhere and maybe come out, come out somewhere else transformed. Well, we found a beetle. Down a giant hole. Yep. Yep. Um, 